So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th Ionic tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can start from the scratch and create our own pages and push and pop them and all that good stuff inside our Ionic application. So let's get started. Now you can see that right now I have got my blank project ready and to do that what you can do is inside your command line where you are actually looking for putting your application just write Ionic start your blank project name which is the name of your project and the template would be blank in our case for this time and the last time we made use of tabs here so it gave us a tab boilerplate but just write blank and hit enter and you should be presented with a file structure something like this so if we take a look inside app and app.html we can again see that ionic provides us with the navigation controller which binds to this root page and again inside our app.component we can see that the root page is actually referring to this home page so for the home page if you go to pages home and home.html this is precisely what we are seeing right now on the right so let's just create a page first in ionic to create a page what we can do is make use of the command line itself so i'm going to go into my project and what i'm going to say is ionic generate now you can write either generate or just g both are same then write the page and then the page name you want to create so i'm going to say um, first so that would be our first page so hit enter and you should see something like generated a page named first now you should again see a folder automatically created right here which consists of all of your page files so this is your file which would be visible to the user once you present it in your application now by default ionic right now does not add your page into your app module so you need to do it yourself so if you have worked with angular the angular generate component thing actually automatically updates this app module file as well so it might seem a bit weird but uh, yeah that's it for um, ionic for now so we might expect a change from ionic team to automatically pop this thing up but right now you have to do this manually so once you do that your first page is actually now ready to be served to the user so inside our home.html file if we take a look we can actually get rid of all of this and simply say a button button ion button and we can populate this thing with something like click me and by the way whenever you want to get uh, uh, information about how to how you can customize your buttons or anything like that you can always refer to this ionic documentation right here and under the docs you would see this UI components which would pretty much consist of everything you would need in your application so we go to buttons and right here you can see that we have got our color light secondary danger sort of things and uh, also like block buttons if you want to fold with your buttons and the full one as well which would just make it without border uh, border radius and full width and all that stuff so we can just make it a full button and the color would be light light not login hit save and we should see something like this so now if we click this button again nothing happens and you can again see that it kind of optimizes your buttons create your buttons according to the platform it's working on so on Android it might look like a native button only when you tap on it it would give you a material kind of theme just like it is doing right now on iOS it would try to create a button which looks like uh, the iOS native button so it's always recommended to make use of ionic um, custom attributes and tag names whenever possible instead of going with your own things because uh, when you do that ionic would try to create um, things natively as close as possible so that uh, it provides a kind of a native experience to the user so anyways now we have got this button set up what I want to do is actually I want to listen for anybody clicking this button so we can say something like uh, um, open first page and again inside our what the heck inside our home.typescript file right here we can say something like 
actually we can first of all create this method only and we would say open first page now what, what I want to do is actually navigate our application to that particular page and right now you can see that Ionic automatically gives us this nav controller thing injected into our application so that we can just make use of this dot nav control now what this would do is that this is actually responsible for managing the stack of your pages right so it's something like this your application starts with a page somewhere here so app starts here and you can push the page you want to display to the user on the top of this page right so your app is now here app is now here now the page would be which would be at the top of the stack which would be the one which would be displayed to the user right so if you pop this page out you would automatically be taken to the page underneath that in the stack so right now we are at the bottom most page only which is this blank template right here so we want to push a page on the top of this page so I'm gonna call push and right here it would contain the page we want to push so I'm gonna say this would be our first page so now what about this first page well, we can get this first page imported so we can say import first page from what we have right here first first and then first so what's happening here is that inside this first I'm importing this first dot typescript file and you can see that is exposed the first page class so that we can import it right here and make use of it in the nav controller so right here if you save this and uh, let it build and actually we can just keep it like that only so if I click on this you can see that we got our first page with us and by default Ionic also takes care of the back button so let's just take a look what this first page actually consists of you can see that it consists of a boring first title so we can say hello there something like that and this is a custom page consisting of awesome content anything like that and hit save uh, we should be able to click on this and see our text right here so that is how pretty much we would create a very basic page with ionic and in the coming tutorials we're going to take a look at how we can actually create multiple pages and put them on the top of each other and pop it out all at once to the root because it might be um, a thing you want to implement if you are creating a login sort of application and suddenly the user logs out so you do not want the user to pretty much just hit the back button and get to a page which was only um, uh, there for a person who is logged in right so that is kind of useful in such applications so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and again i have my link in the, pa the patreon link in the description so if you want to check that out please do that really helps so that is all for this one again and i'll see you then in the next one